is up everybody wet lighting issue buddy here with another video and today we will be showcasing my brand new base that I did a speed build on not too long ago and uh, this is probably one of my favorite bases I've used so far in the Masters League pushing and it kicks ass pretty much and as you can see it's pretty much undefeated except for this one bitch right here who got a 43% one star actually it was a pretty clutch rate on his part uh, I'll show that at the end of the video but as you can see it's just win 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 uh, these are from my old base uh, but it's all wins, and then this bitch guy who got the one star. So I, that's not even, I don't even gonna count that as a win, man. That's half a win. That's a third of the win. Fuck this guy. So let's go check out some replays and see how and why this base does so good in the Masters League. Okay, so for this first attack, we got a guy using a Lava Lunion coming in at my base, and he will be attacking from this top left side. And uh, his one and only Lava Hound is down along with his like 3,000 fucking balloons. And they're going to be slowly moving their way into the middle of the base. Well, towards it anyways. And as you can see, this guy only has three spells. He's got a Rage spell, which he just put down now, and two Freeze spells. So he doesn't have that much uh, firepower spell-wise to defend or attack my base. Uh, rather so he's gonna freeze the inferno tower pretty good placement there with the rage spell and the uh, uh, freeze and my air sweeper will be going to work actually making it really hard for the balloons to get to that uh, expo and the defenses will be taking most of them out and they will all go down right after that expo so now there's a couple minions uh, shooting on my queen I do have a witch in my clan castle and at this point in the raid I was actually watching it live and I saw that I had a witch left and I was thinking, this asshole better not use his heroes and kill my witch. And he, he does just that. So he's going to use these heroes on the bottom right side. Uh, his king and queen combo going in. Using his king special ability to help get through that wall. And uh, all the skeletons are going to come in. He's going to put a free spell down on all of those defenses to help uh, his troops get through it quicker. And uh, the king and queen are going to melt through those little skeletons. But my witch will be spawning a bunch more. And uh, it's going to pretty much kill the king, actually. The king is going to be too occupied by those skeletons. And the expo is going to go to work. And these skeletons are pretty much going to almost take out the queen as well. They go beast mode, man. So all the skeletons are going to be surrounding the enemy queen. And uh, she's going to lose pretty much all of her health. He's going to have to use her special ability in order to prevent her from dying from all these skeletons. So special ability used. And unfortunately, his bitch queen does snipe my witch. So uh, the witch is dead. But it's okay because the queen is about to be dead too from that expo. And this raid is going to be ending at 42%. So that was a 42% win for me. 22 cups. And this guy barely got any loot. So that was an awesome first win. Next to be taking a crack at my base is Lord Archer from the clan Get the Fuck Out 2.0. And he'll be using Shattered Lava Lunion or whatever it is called. Basically, he's going to be putting his Lava Hounds down on my air defenses with a small group of balloons behind in order to take out all the Archer Towers and air defenses in the base so that he can get the 3-star. That is the idea and the strategy, and it does not go too well for him. As you can see, he does take out all of my air defenses, though. Uh, he does manage to pull that off, but he only has a couple of spells. One rage spell was really poorly placed right there. Air Sweep are going to be taking those balloons and pushing them away. That free spell going down, not really sure why, uh, along with that rage spell too. I don't know what the fuck this guy's doing. I don't know. He's, he's just throwing spells down everywhere, man. He's not really, not really strategically placing these in any way, shape, or form. So his balloons, the rest of his balloons are going to be dying actually very soon here. And uh, all he's going to have left to clean up this entire base is his level 10 Barbarian King. And with 32% uh, done, in the, or 35% done in this base, it's going to be kind of hard for him. So he puts a king in on the queen side for some reason. I'm not really sure why. Uh, and he's basically going to let the king uh, beat through the wall and then attack my archer queen. And it's going to be basically a king versus queen duel battle royale right here. And uh, it's, it's pretty surprising who wins. So the queen going to be beating up the king. King using his special ability right here. The queen fighting off not only the king, but all of the barbarians. And she will barely be surviving that, uh, that attack and walking away from that unscathed. So that was the second win. And uh, as this lava pup goes down, the raid ends. That is going to be a 43% plus 16 for me again. He got barely any loot and he just got wrecked by my new base. So this next attack is definitely a weird one by Khan. And uh, his troop composition, if you look at it, it's a little weird. He's got a bunch of healers he just put in on his level 14 archer queen. He's got some barbarians, some archers, a lot of hogs, a uh, king. He's got a lightning spell, some heal spells, and some rage spells. So not really sure what like if it's a farming army or if this is a pushing I don't really know like what he's going for here uh, I think maybe it was like a like you know like a hog healer strategy like he put the queen in first so that she can take out that air defense uh, and then he was planning on like putting his hogs in and his healers protecting the hogs I think that's what he was going for in this raid but it went terribly wrong the, the execution was not on point so he's gonna start sprinkling in a couple more troops on the uh, top by the queen and uh, he's gonna wait for her to break through that wall and then he's going to put in his hogs. I just, again, I don't know what the hell 
the goal was of this raid, but here, watch this. The hogs get completely shot on Solaris. Throws in all of his hogs, a rage spell, a giant bomb goes off, almost killing all of them, a heal spell down, poorly placed heal spell, and then uh, the rest of the hogs are going to run into the multi-target inferno and this giant bomb right here, and they're literally all going to die within like 15 seconds of being deployed. So uh, that happened. And then uh, it's going to be his queen versus my queen. And uh, my queen would have won, but he used a special ability. So uh, my queen went down. And then he puts a rage and heal spell on his healers instead of on the qu I just, I don't know. I, I'm so confused. But uh, his queen is going to get a couple of storages, actually, and get a little bit of loot for him. Uh, but not much. That humongous group of archers got completely demolished by that mortar. But uh, yeah, here comes his king as well. Uh, but neither of them are going to get very much farther into the base. His queen on the top is going to go down pretty quickly because uh, the special ability is gone. And now it's up to his king on the bottom, and uh, he's not going to be able to get far. And watch how the uh, air sweeper does against the healers, though. Uh, it's actually extremely effective, uh, pushing the healers back and not allowing them to heal. Uh, and in the time that they cannot heal, the king gets completely destroyed. And he will be dying there, ending the raid, but this guy does have a lightning spell. And he's going to be that one dick who has to drop it on loot before he ends the raid, but he's going to end it there. And uh, that's going to be a total of 30% for him and 17 cups gained for me. So that was another awesome win on this awesome base. Alright, so this guy's going to be using a uh, pretty weird composition in my opinion. He's got two golems, he's got two pekkas, two witches, uh, eight giants, he's got some wall breakers, and a bunch of wizards. Now, this is like a go we wipe with some giants. I don't know what the hell this guy's doing. Uh, but the golems are in and the giants are in as well, followed by a big ring of wizards. And uh, here comes the pekkas, and I'm sure the witches, there they are. The witches are going to be dropped soon. King and queen going to be going in as well. So basically, he's going to be full on attacking my base from this top side, probably... Uh, to go for more of the loot than anything because my Dark Elixir was up top and I have a lot of storages on the top that was really easy to pick off. So my queen plus my uh, skeletons in the middle are going to actually lure his troops into the middle. And watch, they're going to kill those, right? And they're in the middle of the base and then they leave the middle to go over here to kill my king. So that was actually pretty lucky. That kept the P.E.K.K.A.s out of the middle of the base, uh, which helped a lot during this raid. Now his king's already dead. His golems uh, and giants are all in the bottom here, not doing a ton. And uh, both his Pekkas are actually about to die as well. So really the only thing that's left to threaten my base is the Queen right here. And she is locked in the Town Hall, which is no bueno. And uh, she also does have her special ability. So my Skeleton's going to be distracting her. But he will use her special ability and she will lock back onto the Town Hall. And uh, she will unfortunately be taking it down. That bitch! She is going to be taking the Town Hall right there. So the Town Hall is hers. She's not going to get anything after that though. So that's okay. 43% and these Golems are going to be dead to finish off this raid. So 43% one star, I only lost 7 cups and a little bit of loot, so this wasn't a terrible raid, but this was the one and only loss of this base so far. Alright guys, so that was my amazing base and some replays, and this is my new favorite base for sure that I will be using for trophy pushing from now on. Now, let's get to today's common question of the day. It's going to be a little bit rushed because I have a prom to get to, and it's in a couple of hours, I need to finish this video. So, let us get to today's common question of the day. Alright guys, so today's comic question of the day comes from a bad anime editor, A. Bay, and he asks, Have you watched Fast and Furious 7 or The New Avengers? Uh, and if so, what do you think? Honestly, I picked this because last night I went with Bay to go see the new Avengers movie, and uh, it was awesome. Uh, I saw the first one, I really enjoyed it. I'm a big Marvel fan, I haven't seen all of the, uh, like the Marvel movies like I haven't seen all the Iron Mans and I haven't seen all the Hulks and shit like that but I've seen a, quite a bit of them uh, and I really do enjoy watching them I, I really like that uh, kind of actiony superhero movie style and uh, the first Avengers I absolutely love the movie was badass I really enjoyed it saw it in theaters uh, and then I went last night and I saw the uh, second Avengers in 3d so uh, it was like it was three times the viewing power actually that's not what 3d means but it was pretty awesome actually I really enjoyed it the 3d made it awesome uh, and it was just an overall epic movie, and they also hinted at an Avengers 3 coming out, so if you guys are a big fan of the Avengers series, uh, and want to see Avengers 3, it's probably going to be coming out, uh, in a couple of years from now, uh, because the end of the video, Avengers 2, there's definitely going to be a 3 coming out. I'm not going to spoil anything for anybody who hasn't seen it, but, uh, there's for show an Avengers 3 coming out, and Fast and Furious 7, yes, I did see it. Uh, I actually went and rewatched the entire Fast and Furious series before I went and saw 7, and then I saw 7, and at the end of the movie, I cried. I'm just kidding. I didn't really cry. Uh, I definitely did tear up, though. That's the only movie I've ever teared up at, like, during. Like, I was like, there were tears coming out of my eyes. It was it was serious. I was like, this is fucking sad. Uh, but it was an awesome movie. That was by far one of the best movies I've seen uh, all year. Uh, and I'm really excited to see a bunch of... This year is just a good year for movies, man. The new Star Wars coming out. Uh, Jurassic Park was awesome. 
Uh, and, you know, what there was Fast and Furious, there was Avengers. This is a good year for movies, so I'm really excited to see uh, some newer movies coming out later on this year. But yes, I did see Avengers and Fast and Furious 7, and I absolutely love both of them. So that was today's comment question of the day. And uh, if you guys want your comment question of the day answered in the next video, make sure to leave it down in the comments below for a chance for it to get picked. And uh, yeah, guys, that is it for today's upload. And I'm sorry if it did seem a little bit rushed or my commentary wasn't great. I'm really tired, and I have a prom to go to in like an hour. So I uh, love you guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. The pretty girls in class still they never reply but never say never they never get caught on my mind I'm trying to get better and grind measure my effort and skill gets better in time fresher than ever and I am who I am no taking it back I'm alive and well